Hello, I am going to show you how Idas Imagine can count palm trees from JPEG images fairly automatically, hopefully saving you time. Okay, I'm going to add my original image here. So as you can see, we have nice round palm trees, even though some of this is over another type of vegetation, you can quite see clearly see the palm trees there. These palm trees are red because this image is captured in the near-infrared wavelengths rather than um, the visible wavelengths we're usually uh, used to looking at. And now I'm going to press this custom button that I've made in Udas Imagine. This runs a model around the background which looks for the mean near-infrared value of the image, hopefully giving you nice big circles just around the palm trees. I'm going to press this button, open up my um, prompts of to add my inputs in. So I've got my near-infrared threshold here. That may need lowering or hiring depending on your image. But in general it works fairly well. And Output to something. Okay. I'm going to preview. This will just give me a look at the imagery, see if everything's going well, without actually running it to file. So click that there, it starts whirring, and here we go. So those are hopefully all of the palm trees that are in this image here. So you can see there's pretty much one blob. <laughs> to every palm tree, as far as I can tell from in two different viewers. Um, they're all slightly different shades of grey, um, because each one represents its own class, which allows it to count every feature rather than it, me going through and counting it afterwards. Okay, I'm going to run this now so that I can show you the output. It's going through each bit of the model now, and I'll show you the model in a little bit. And there you go. Pretty much one blob, we've even just about got a blob on the edge of the image here, per tree. Also ignoring this underlying vegetation which is more likely to get confused than this nice bare soil over here. And so imagine here tells us we have 53 palm trees in that photo. And I have gone through and counted and that actually is 53. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to just show you quickly the model that runs behind this. You can see the little underlying model. Doesn't take too long if I want to edit um, the threshold. I can edit it down here by double clicking on there and editing my threshold from the other image now. It's exactly the same model, um, just different palm trees. Um, these are a bit more interlocking, so a slightly bigger challenge, but worked just as well. And there you go. Okay, and that was the little project we did on palm tree camping. Thank you for listening. Uh -huh.